Please give a warm welcome to Seth Radetzky. Right after the chandelier did its famous fall at the end of Act 1, the lights came on for intermission, and I suddenly spotted Chase Hudson sitting two rows ahead of us. Hi! If you don't know, he was one of the stars of Vicious Tongues, the weekly soap opera about a dorm where everyone is gorgeous and dating each other while gossiping nonstop. Chase doesn't give autographs. How do you know? Because I'm his assistant. That's why I recognize him. There were always the lights started flashing to signal Act 2 was about to begin, but Chase suddenly touched my arm. When do you begin your internship? <laughs> right after New Year's. He looked like he was thinking. That's the beginning of our last week of rehearsals before previews, right? He said, looking at a bear. Exactly. It'll be a very busy time, so... <laughs> <laughs> so you could use the extra help. What extra help? <laughs> How about this, Justin? Skip the publicity firm and come intern for me in January. Are you serious? We used to be best buddies. And now we're not. I wish you would tell me why. Do you want to build a snowman? It doesn't have to be a snowman. Go away, Anna. <laughs> okay, bye. Our guest bedroom has no window, which some people would find too dark and depressing, but I love it because it makes me feel like a real New Yorker. <laughs> I buzzed when I got to my grandma's place, and she opened the door in her usual mood. Crankiness. You're wearing that? I didn't even know what the, that referred to. My coat, hat, pants, shoes. Turns out, none of the above. Take it off! She barked while moving the straps of my knapsack off my shoulders. Bad for your back! Ironic advice to be getting from a woman who has what is affectionately known as a dowager's hump amongst polite society or simply a hunchback amongst fans of the Disney film. But I'd rather be sick. Dropped a fork, hoping it would distract her. She continued. What do you call it? A Hebrew do? The Jewish curse? A curly Jewfest? A Jewfro? <laughs> I finally said to shut her up. Well, if that's love, it comes at much too high a cost. I Is Chase in? She shook her head. I can't tell you that. We're not allowed to give our residents information. What? She obviously knew that I was expected, but was now acting like I was a crazed fan trying to break in. I took out my phone and called Uber. Hello? <laughs> he said after it rang twice. Uh, Uber, it's, it's Justin Goldblatt. Okay. I guess that meant hi. Did you feel like an answer? Uber wrote directions that told me where to go today, and it was not to the theater at all. I had to take a subway and a ferry to Staten Island. And then I had to take a bus to a doctor's office, specifically a veterinarian, where I would drop off the jar. Apparently the jar I was holding was not a lemon-based throat soother, it was an ammonia-scented urine sample. According to the letter Mookie, their dog possibly had a bladder infection, and Staten Island had the best dog bladder slash spleen vet specialist in New York. I hope that I'd be able to drop it off and rush to the theater to watch the rest of the rehearsal. We only have each other. It's just you and me. What are we gonna do? Do you wanna build a snowman? What's your line? It rhymes. No, fuck you. <laughs>